Welcome back and thanks for tuning in. As I mentioned recently, I picked up some subcontract work. It's just basic home repairs mostly, and one of the things I find I run across uh, quite often is I need to remove old caulking from around sinks and tubs and countertops, that sort of thing. And because it is an annoying thing to do, uh, people who have come uh, before me, like renters and that sort of thing, uh, have not bothered to remove the old caulking and have simply applied a fresh coat on top. And there could be two or three or more uh, layers of caulking and silicone on this. And when I go to remove it all, I'm just using a utility knife, I end up finding gaps, uh, either because the old caulking had uh, leaked a little bit, so you end up with some spongy drywall. And what I need to do, of course, is add some plaster onto that, and once it dries, uh, sand it down. It's a very tight little spot to have to try and sand. So what I need is a small little sanding block, and that's what this is going to be. This is going to allow me to, you know, clamp in a small piece of sandpaper. We're not like doing large sections, it's just like a few inches at a time. And this allow me to smooth that out so it looks nice and neat and can be painted. That's uh, the whole process here. And unfortunately, the stuff I have currently is it's just too big. And because it's going against a countertop, I need something smooth on the bottom, which is going to be this uh, 1 8 inch aluminum. And there won't be any sandpaper there. That way it don't end up scratching the countertop. So I'm going to, this is three quarter inch bar. Uh, it has got a 1 8 inch uh, piece of strapping on top of that. I uh, takes, um, well it's just masking tape. It holds it in place of course. And as you can see here, uh, it gives me something nice to mark the holes on. Where the holes go is not really relevant. It's just, uh, all it needs to do is again, firmly uh, keep the sandpaper in place. So doesn't really make any difference where they go. I just need to make sure that they're countersunk because the part that's sticking up at the moment is going to be what's going to be against the uh, countertop. So it has to be smooth. And these bolts can't stick up uh, beyond that. I don't want to end up scratching the countertop and end up causing issues that way. And one of the things I thought about doing instead of this, um, and I might actually give it a try because it's extremely simple to do, is I would take a piece of three quarter inch ply and then take some adhesive sandpaper and just stick it on the edge, uh, on the end bit. So I'm gonna try a little bit of that as well. My thought process was that it would probably, because it's such a small amount of uh, surface to glue onto or use the adhesive to stick it in place, that it would just end up popping off. So this will be secure and uh, there won't be any issues. I mean, the aluminum is relatively soft, so it won't uh, scratch very much. And of course, with the counter sinking of the bolts, uh, it uh, shouldn't prevent, present any kind of issues. Now, because this is only 1 8 inch, the strapping, and I need to hold it quite well, and of course needs to be countersunk, I can't use very large bolts. Uh, I'm using uh, number eights, uh, quite thin, and should give me enough of a head on there to be able to uh, hold this in place and still have the top of the bolt uh, beneath the surface of the aluminum. So as you can see, this is really easy to cut through. Uh, it's just some matter of having a little bit of WD-40 and then just drilling through. And then what I'm gonna do is, after I've drilled all holes, I'm just gonna countersink it. It's like, again, this is a simple matter of uh, putting it back into the vise and making sure, as you can see, that I have uh, the original uh, drill that goes through and then just sitting, uh, setting this one in place, tapping it down until I have it uh, nice and flush. Take my time. Uh, after I've done the first one, I'll set the depth stop on uh, the mill and the second one obviously be quite straightforward. I just have to go down to the same depth stop. It's just, I want it not to go too quickly at this. I want to make sure that I don't end up, you know, going through this piece of material and then having to uh, do this whole thing again. I mean, this didn't take long. I mean, we're talking about uh, 45 minutes, less than an hour to build this whole thing, including all the sanding, which is the longest part, of course, in almost any project I do. Uh, and as you see, it's uh, very easy uh, to stick together. All I need to do now, of course, is just 
This part here needs to be smoothed out. The rest of it is completely irrelevant. This is a tool, but I will sand the rest of it down a little bit as well, just to make it look a little nicer. And then that's it. I'm not going to bother, uh, well, at this point anyway, uh, making it any fancier by adding any kind of handles or anything. I just want to try it out, make sure it does what I want it to do, and then I can um, easily, you know, add things to this to make it a little easier to hold on to. It, I tried it out. I haven't actually tried it out on a job yet, uh, so that's something that's going to come up in the near future, and I'll let you know how that works out. But just trying it out here in the shop, uh, the process is, like I said, straightforward. It's easy to load. There's no difficulty getting it, uh, uh, you know, with a piece of sandpaper in it. So this is what I'm going to do here. This is my usual sanding block. That's what I meant by the three-quarter inch. If I just stick a piece of sandpaper on the end, I don't know if it's going to stay on. I mean, I, I've made this, and I've added paper to it. I've taken paper off. And I find, uh, from time to time, it just doesn't stick well. And again, I, like I said, I don't know uh, if it's something that will hold on well enough. So I'm just going to try it out. We'll see how it goes. So I'm getting to the point now, this is 600. This is nice and smooth. I'm going to put a little oil on here and I'm going to smooth that out as nicely as I can. Just make it, it doesn't have to be pretty, of course. I just don't want to scratch the countertop. That's it. That's all there is to that. So there you go. Clean that off. Still has a few scratches on it. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit more work on that. But as you can notice, all the edges are rounded off. And uh, like I said, that's basically all I need to do. And I'm going to show you loading it up. And also I want to show you a little bit about how this is going to work. I'm going to just take a piece of plywood and put it on top of this a piece of quarter inch. I just want to show you the kind of corner I'm going to be dealing with and unfortunately I, I don't have any plaster here uh, so I can't really uh, set that up for you but uh, like I said this is should be enough as at least an example of showing you uh, what it's designed for. So this is just slides in I'm going to tighten the bolts down and then that just bends over and of course I just hold it with my finger and that's it. And again, I'm hoping this is going to work well. It was easy to do. Uh, like I said, it was something I needed in a hurry. And hopefully, like I said, in the near future, I'll give you a quick video on how it all turned out. May end up just tossing this in my off-cuts bin and doing something else with it later. Who knows? There you go. That's as easy as that is. And now it's nice and smooth on the bottom. It doesn't scratch. I, uh, moved it back and forth, it moves smoothly. And then I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna get a little piece of uh, three quarter inch and I'm gonna show you how that works and that's basically it. So leave comments, let me know what you think of this. And uh, well, I'll see you in the next video and bye for now.